Hi everyone. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Giselle Hernandez and I am the founder and director of Your Virtual Clone, uh, which provides HR consulting as well as online business management services to small business. And so the purpose for um, this video today, I just put, put together a quick video because I've been um, sharing some tips and some, some resources to help you manage remote staff um, and also just sharing some tips about um, ways that we can recognize our employees. And on this week, I mentioned having a virtual board or a virtual cork board or a virtual whiteboard, whatever you want to call it, um, in order to have a space to recognize employees and to share some of the um, fun things that you guys are doing in the workplace. And so the reason why I decided to put this video together is I've made mention to having that workplace, um, either a virtual board or a virtual quote unquote water cooler. And so a couple of the questions that I've received over the last couple of weeks is how do I do that? Um, you know, I don't have a very big budget, uh, what are some of the tools that I can use to do that? And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to discuss three different tools um, that I did a little research and then I just kind of came up and created some mock uh, virtual whiteboard. So I'll share those with you so I can show you, you know, it's easy to do. Um, it's cost effective, right? Um, and it gives you some flexibility in terms of finding a way to share um, wins recognize employees and just have kind of a visual way in which to kind of have fun with your employees, especially if um, um, the majority or all of your work staff is remote. So let's just kind of dive in. So the first tool that um, I kind of did some research, some people are using Google Keep. And so this is my example of a virtual whiteboard that I created and I'm calling it the shout out corner, right? And so if I'm a manager and I have a remote staff or I have um, a percentage of my staff that is remote, I wanna make sure that we have a way in which to um, recognize each other. And so that's what I did. I used Google Keep and honestly, um, if I were to rate these, this is not my absolute favorite um, tool to use. It's a tool that I found um, that others are using to do this, but um, it's easy. It's quick and easy. So if you're doing this for the first time and you want to play around and you want to start off with something easy, um, this is, you know, one of the tools that I found and it's kind of easy to use and it's free, right? So um, I just gave it a title, the shout out corner. Um, and so, for example, um, in the real world, these would be actual pictures or something related to the event, um, to the employees that I'm recognizing. And so if you look down here, I got them. Thank you, Karen, for, uh, thank you, Karen, for being a patient and dedicated teacher. Teacher, right. And so um, when I was coming up with this, you know, in, in my um, in my uh, example, Karen is the person on my team who was always teaching others. Um, she is somebody who learns systems and processes fairly quickly. And she has is seen as a go to person when it comes to when it comes to that um, teaching. And so I'm shouting her out for that. And, you know, in my fake example, this is a picture of, of Karen, you know, doing um, teaching. So her in action. Um, the other one I have is join me in congratulating Keisha on her pr promotion. It's hard to say goodbye, but you've earned it. Right. So, you know, this is the picture that is related to that particular shout out. So again, this one is quick. It's easy. It's simple. It doesn't have a lot of functionality. Um, but again, if you're doing this for the first time and just kind of want to test things out, Google Keep um, was uh, mentioned as a tool that's easy to do this with. So here you can see what that looks like. The other one I found, it's called Pinup. Um, and it's kind of a, a sticky note type platform. This is what the whiteboard or the cork board looks like. And you can actually change it. Hold on, guys. I was playing with this for the first time yesterday. And how do I, is it in settings? No. Okay, so I can actually change, you know, the background. So it has a little bit more functionality. Um, what I enjoyed about this is um, I can, it's very visual. It's very kind of easy to kind of put together. Um, again, you know, I'm using some thank you, wow, just to kind of decorate 
um, our recognition center. And um, in my examples that I used, this is a, a picture that I am using to say thank you to the team for long hours and hard work. You know, um, again, the example of somebody getting promoted, time to say goodbye, picture that I use. Congratulations, Michael, on your promotion. Um, and again, same example. Thank you, Kathy, for being a patient and amazing teacher. And again, this one, again, it's more uh, visual. You can play with it a bit more. You know, you can add color. When I um, add it in the pictures, it loads up as a picture. And this background here is white, kind of like this example right here. I decided to add some, you know, kind of change the colors here a bit just for to keep it interesting. So um, again, not a lot of functionality. Uh, maybe there is more functionality in the in the free. I mean, sorry, in the paid version. These two tools that I've talked about: Google Free uh, Keep and then this pinup one are free. Um, okay, so my absolute favorite, guys, and the tool that a lot of people use, uh, Slack, right? And so what I did here is I created a channel, right? Uh, YVC shoutouts, right? So this is a Slack channel that I created so that I could recognize my employees. Again, Slack is a very common tool. A lot of people use it. A lot of companies use it. Google uses Slack. And um, I love the functionality here, right? So here I created a, a channel just for shout outs, right? Um, and then I can go in, I can add members. When I create my shout outs, I can upload pictures like I did here. Thank you, Kathy, for being a patient and awesome teacher. Again, keep recognizing um, Kathy for that. Um, I like the fact that it allows me to, to pin my shout outs, right? So if I wanna make sure that um, on a weekly, bi-weekly basis, whatever monthly basis that we kind of uh, keep those things top of mind and that I am um, allowing time for people to recognize um, each other's hard work. I pin it to the top and then they can look at it over here on the sidebar. And how that helps is again, this is like a feed, right? So if I do not pin those things, then it's going to get lost um, you know, on the feed and I don't want that to happen. The other thing that I really like about Slack is I have the ability to create some polls, right? I, in Slack, you can add in other apps. One of the apps that I added in is called Simple Poll. And it, both of these tools, I'm using the free version, by the way. And so I wanted to recognize the team. Thank you team for doing your part to help us exceed our monthly sales goals, you rock. And then I'm asking a question, how do you want to celebrate, right? Because when we recognize employees, we want to make sure that we're giving them recognition. Um, but, you know, it's good to always have open lines of communication. And if you're recognizing someone for a job well done, give them some choices. How do you want us to celebrate you in this particular example? We're going to celebrate the team. So how do you want us to celebrate you? And again, Slack gave me the option to be able to create a poll. Okay. So, hey my team member my team members can go in here and they can vote and then once you get those results then you as a team can choose how you want to celebrate do you want to have a lunch or a virtual party again um as a manager you know when you're looking to celebrate and let's say that part of your staff is uh virtual maybe you go to lunch with the people that um, are in the building with you and then other people maybe you give them a gift card i'm not sure um, how you work that out there are some options or maybe you decide as a team let's have a vir you know virtual party everybody i don't know brings in virtual, you know, everybody brings in a meal, you know, at a specific set date or time and you just kind of have an informal virtual party. Um, and if you've been following my feed um, on any of my social medias, you'll see that I posted um, some tips on how to hold, how to host an effective virtual party. So be, um, you know, go to my Facebook or my LinkedIn and, and check those tips out. But um, this is the end of our quick video today. I just wanted to show you a couple of the tools that you can use in order to build uh, a way to recognize an employee that is vi uh, visible to everyone. Um, another suggestion that I've made before is make, you know, give your employees to have a quote unquote water cooler space, right? When we're not in person together, we can't have a coffee chat or we can't just, you know, go by the coffee pot and, hey, good morning, how are you doing? How was your kid's soccer game or whatever, right? Because we're in a virtual world or a part of your team is in a virtual world. But if you use a tool like Slack and you create a channel 
employee water cooler, okay? You as the manager, just give them a little bit of freedom and you make sure that you do not uh, go into that water cooler space. Give them the opportunity to kind of just chat as, as, as peers and coworkers and just get to know each other on a more informal uh, basis. Yes, we will set some uh, rules around making sure that everything's professional and according to company policy, but this way your employees have a way to connect um, and get to kind of get to know each other in a more informal way. Um, for today's topic, I just wanted to show you how you can use some of these free uh, tech tools that will help you build commodity uh, recognition and communication amongst your teams. And it gives you an easy way to recognize your staff and to celebrate the wins. So I hope that you have found this um, video informational today. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section or reach out to me directly and I will make sure that I get your questions answered. So I hope that today you have a wonderful day, that you have found this uh, useful and feel free to give me feedback. Thank you.